Welcome back to Expedition Extreme. We are going to embark on a trip that we couldn't finish last year. Last year we decided to explore the whole coastline of Oman, um, starting from Muscat, because from Muscat basically to the Fajera border and, and the UAE is pretty much built up. It's city life, there's not much to explore over there. Starting from Muscat going down is what's well, where the beauty lies, where the good fishing lies, and that's what we try to explore last year. Unfortunately, we got just south of Dukham, which is pretty much a ah, little bit more than halfway uh, to Salala, and a cyclone came through that caused devastation not only in Oman, but in the UAE. Uh, there were a couple of cranes and things that fell onto Sheikh Zayed Road and so on and yep. so forth. So we ran away from the wind over there. I thought we'll stop and give you a view of the actual wind speed. I brought my wife Adronette from behind the camera to in front of the camera for the show. So uh, quick shout out, if you're not following her on Instagram, she's the photographer, she's the filmographer over here, she's normally doing everything for us. Um, Adronette may uh, photography, it is Correct. Instagram, right. On the last trip, we started off at Muscat and we started meandering towards... Was it Wadi Shab? Shab. It was Shab. And I think we actually camped there on the cliff, didn't we? Yeah. I think we were on the cliff. We were standing over there. I think and wait, hang on. That's where your, your fishing pole got so excited and decided to fall over. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Sunrise, talking to camera, <laughs> talking about how we're going to catch some fish right now. Correct. As you can see, the sun's about to peak out. I'm going to get some fishing done and we'll catch you later during the day. And the reason why we stayed there was because the prior time we had actually explored that area and we were there and standing off the cliffs we saw a shoal of um, kingfish coming through so yeah. it was worth a try. Uh, unfortunately, the weather was playing against us. We didn't catch any fish. No. But we moved on from there and we went further south. And I think the next spot that we got to was... Wasn't that T Turtle Beach? No. No, no. We kept no. on going past um, her. We actually stopped just before Mazara Island, I think it was. I found that spot, that the rocky beach. And it was a great... It wasn't the best camp spot, but it was a great fishing spot. The beaches that we found so far, phenomenal camping spots. Some really, really great camping spots as you can see in the footage before this. But I think this is the spot where we're going to find most fish. We're looking for rocky areas. This is not the best camp spot in the world, but we're going to wait for the tide to come in now. Isn't that where the, um, we were fishing? And the next moment the fishermen came and threw the nets right in front of us. And we were like, well, we can't fish here now because there's no use. And you decided to take me into the dunes, yeah. where uh, we kept on getting stuck yeah. over and over and over. Wahiba Sands is not friendly. Trying to get out of there, and I thought we're never going to get out of there. But you promised me we would, and you did. But you enjoyed the evening though. Wahiba Sands was a change. Yeah. We were supposed to explore the coast. We went and spent some time it in the desert. It was stunning. I know. Let's not I talk about some... the Mount of Stucks. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Right, so from there, we left and we headed towards Dukham and that's where we spotted that lovely white island with the cliffs. That was gorgeous. We thought it was, we actually didn't know what to expect. You thought it was what? I thought it was, a, I thought it was one of those uh, sh uh, ships. Shipping that con containers. Well, not the containers, the one with the, the vehicles on it. Yeah. So anyway, we found a lovely spot over there and we camped. Great Love photography, it. It great everything beautiful. there. Beautiful. Also very secluded beach. But no, we can't talk too much because they can go and watch the show, right? We moved on from Dukum and we headed towards Ras Madraka. Oh, wait. Isn't that where we started meeting or where we met the crazy cycling German? <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm the crazy German. <laughs> Yeah. So if you haven't watched the show, she left Iran, she, she took a sabbatical, went from Tehran to Salala on a bicycle. We met up with her and we spent how many nights? Yeah, we decided we need to feed this poor girl. <laughs> yes. She needs food. So um, yeah, we invited her over and uh, spent, I think, 
two nights was two it? Two nights in Ras yeah. Madraka. Yeah. And then we headed off um, to explore further south. And you spotted this awesome wadi with these big palm trees and you needed to take photos. It was gorgeous. I just had to stop there. It was like off from the beach to the right. Had to stop and as we drove in, it was just getting more pretty and more pretty and more pretty. And um, and we spent some time taking photographs as you do. Awesome time, yeah. And then, and we, then wait, 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 wait. We decided to turn back and as we crossed the road, we decided, well, let's head to the beach. And what did we come across? Well, so we didn't manage to film a lot of it last time, but in that film, I said, I reckon we've pulled it off in search of the most secluded, exclusive beach on the East Coast. Now, this is where we are right now. We're embarking on this trip and we're going to be moving all the way down as far as we can get as close to the Yemeni border. If we only get to Salala in the time that we have, but we're going to try and explore every hook and cranny there is to bring the best camping and possible fishing spots there are. However, Coming back a year later and arriving at this beach with the massive storms that they've had during the winter months and the cyclone that we ran away from over here. Unfortunately, the rubbish from the ocean has washed up and it's spoiled this beach. Not to the extent that I would not camp here. In fact, we're here right now. We set up. We're going to spend the night. It is not overly filthy. Oh, well, we, the great point is uh, we've got wood. We've got wood. We've got lots of wood. Loads and loads and loads of wood. However, be one massive there still tonight. is not one human footprint that I could find on this nope. beach. The two of us have made footprints today oh, yeah. and that's it. So as far as exclusivity is, this is still one of the best beaches. So I'm going to cut to a bit of footage right now that we didn't manage to get in the last show because of the high winds that came through enjoy this from here we're going to be moving down south and we're going to be bringing well hopefully better bigger and hopefully it's fish loose. this time and fish <laughs> and fish <laughs> not little souls like you did in the last yeah, 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 yeah. hey i try <laughs> right i hope you enjoy the show and our new addition in front of the camera instead of behind the camera so uh, show it to your wife, your girlfriend, because girls do love camping. Oh yeah. <laughs>
Water, by the way. Where's your baseball bat? Let's play cricket. <laughs> yeah, you got a wicket. You got a wicket from the ocean. Yeah. All right. Well, ocean. Sorry to sorry to burst your bubble, but uh, time for you to take the camera again. Why? Let me show you. Oh my word! While you've been piddly whittling with little pieces of wood, look what I found. I've been digging away at this big, big guy, but I'm going to need your assistance uh. because. Excuse it's, me, I uh, saw that. It's you cheating. It's huge. And that's gonna keep us going and nice and warm the whole night. You cheating. That was my piece. No. We absolutely love this beach. 200 kilometers of isolation. It is the raw beauty that Oman offers. Absolutely stunning. It's been 36 hours since I've had some rest. Time to take in the fire, the lovely sunset, and head off south tomorrow morning. Remember, if it's dusty, drive it. If you like our show, you can support us on Patreon by clicking on the Patreon icon below. By becoming a Patreon member, you'll be able to see some exclusive footage, as well as getting some awesome Expedition Extreme merchandise.